I'm back on the internet in my underwear again. I have my button up dresses left to do. Uh, technically my knit dresses as well, but that's for another day. Button up dresses left to do, of which there are 30, I believe. Quite a few of them are gonna stay, but there are already some that I can see that I can definitely let go of. And there are some that can go in the future roofing box because they don't fit me again, unfortunately. There's so many buttons I've got to do up, I'm not looking forward to this. But let's get started with a favorite that is definitely gonna be staying. <laughs> some tiny buttons. I regret all my choices. <laughs> okay, I'm only doing up like the top and the, the waist button to get an idea of it because I like I say, I know this one's staying. It's the McCall 7974. It is very low cut and this slip is not what I would wear underneath of it. I would wear a lacy one. This is a fabric that I got from eBay thanks to Rachel. I know she's got some of the same as she made an Eve out of it and it looks amazing. It isn't available anymore, sorry. Yep. Love this one, keeping this one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm good. I'm, that's, what, I'm, that's all I'm doing, because otherwise I'm gonna be doing and undoing a million buttons tonight. But I have got photos of me wearing this one and it looks good. I've just done a sew along for this one. Again, this is a very black based print, but I think the colors in it otherwise are bright enough that I get away with it. It's far enough away from my face and I also can wear it with accessories that I love. So this one is staying and I have, as I say, done a sew along for this one and a pattern review, which I will link in the description down below. And there are more coming because I love it. So yeah, it's staying. I promise it fits. These two I'm not even going to bother trying on because they are both going back into the wardrobe. Both made this year. I absolutely love them and if you would like to see them in more detail and hear my thoughts about them I will link to the June July lookbook and pattern review. McCall 7974. Happy with both of these. This is the McCall 6696 with a five panel circle skirt and the Brewerier flat back on it because I didn't like the original floofy back and I have worn it a couple of times this year but currently I can't do that up easily to get it to fit comfortably to wear it so I'm glad that I have worn it a couple of times this year I am not going to put this one in my future proofing box because I want it in my wardrobe as inspiration I know it's a bright floral dress it's definitely the right greens for me i love this dress this fabric was from stitch fabrics it's gorgeous it's definitely out of stock but stitch fabrics have amazing fabrics in all the time it is like i say too small for me at the moment but i'm gonna keep it and i'm gonna keep it out as inspiration with the other few dresses that i've kept out if you've watched the other dress clear out videos you will know what i'm talking about i do like the 6696 but i have made so many alterations to it that i'm I, it's a bit of a franken pattern at the moment okay so this is the first of the 8577s of which i have i think eight now possibly seven there is a link to that pattern review up here and i've also done a sew along for this dress which i will link in the description down below this one is the lady mccurroy jungle tropics there is a lot of black in this but there are also a lot of really bright colors that really work for me they have released this print on their candace drill which i have and they've just released it on viscose <laughs> i know i don't need another wrap dress but it would be really cool as a wrap dress <laughs> this one's staying and I think all of my 8577s are staying, so I will probably not try them all on, but I will show you them all so that you can see the prints that I have. But like I say, there is a video going through all of them in detail, so I will link that for you. I love this dress. It's super fluffy, giant pockets, so happy. Another 8577, this time it is the Kiwi Cobra Corsage. This is in my colour wheel. I love this dress. I have worn this frequently and it is staying, so that's it back straight back in the cupboard. Okay, so this is the Cobra Corsage Bottle Green Cotton Lawn and I've completely forgotten the number of this dress. It's a McCall's dress. I've done a sew along for it. There's about five or six in this pile. I love the actual style, but this is one that I'm thinking about getting rid of because of the color. But again, I'm trying it on now and I'm kind of falling back in love with it. What do you mm. think? I really like it. I've yeah. kept the Viscose 7537. I actually think, I was convinced I was gonna get rid of this one. I'm totally convinced, but I think I'm keeping it. So yeah, this 
is one of the colours that Nicola added to my colour wheel. So that little swatch that you've got there, Jojo's holding onto the swatch book and I will have put a picture up on the screen for you. Those four colours were technically not in the spring palette, but they're ones that did look good on me. And this is definitely that dark green. The skirt's full enough. It, for a while, when I'd lost weight, it was actually, this dress was quite a lot bigger on me and I was thinking of putting it in the future proofing box the other way around. And I do have some too big for me pieces, but currently it's actually fitting quite nicely. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to keep this one, which surprises me, but I'm glad. It is a beautiful dress and it is beautiful fabric and it is fun yes. to wear. Yes, I agree with that one. You can keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> Another 8577. These are very autumnal colours. Very, very autumnal. But that kind of orangey, tanny colour, I think is bright enough that I want to keep it. Mm -hmm. And the greens are fairly bright and I think you can yeah. find all of these colours on my palette if you look hard enough. So <laughs> it's an 8577, I love it, it's staying. Another 8577 that's staying. This time it's got a three quarter circle skirt on it. I fixed this skirt and made it into a dress earlier this year. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet but I am keeping it because all of the colours are perfect for me and I love this. So this one's going straight back in. And again, I will put up images of me wearing these so that you can see what they look like on, I promise. Look, there you are. Look how mirrors work. <laughs> Pearls of Wisdom. One of the most expensive dresses that I own. This is five meters of Liberty Carline cotton lawn. So when I bought it, 22.50 a meter, now 26.50 a meter, I think they are. This is going nowhere. Again, you can pry this out of my kill dead fingers. It's like, it's, it's gorgeous. I love it. 8577. I do wear this. I wear this quite frequently in the warmer months. And I have enough of this fabric left to make a teeny tiny little tie front shirt. And I know I don't wear separates often, but I will make an exception because I'm not buying more of this to turn that other fa that leftover fabric into a dress. <laughs> Another 8577. This time it had been a skirt in a calf facet print and I stupidly did not buy enough to make a dress and I never wore it so I took it apart earlier this year and added on the bodice from the extra fabric I bought and it's glorious. The pinks are probably a little too cool but I think maybe they're in there. Yeah no they're there. I'm, yeah. It's a bright print. I feel really pretty in this one. I haven't worn it yet but I will do. This is a McCall 6696 and I can't get into it which is why I'm not showing it to you but I do have photos of me wearing this. It is an octopus print which is really special to me and my best friend Tatty. Octopi seriously do learn faster than she does. So I'm keeping this one but it is going into the future proofing wardrobe or future proofing box because as gorgeous as it is it really really is too small for me that other one i can squeeze into now this one i couldn't even attempt to do it up mm. so i definitely need to put this in the future proofing box but i don't want to get rid of it because it's a special print and a really pretty dress and when i can fit into it i will wear it this is the vogue 9357 and this one actually does fit me at the moment and this is the first vogue 9357 that you guys have seen so let's put it on i mean not ever because i've made loads of them but 9345 even not 9357 that's a totally different dress this is super 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 precious to me goldfish fabric that i got from fabric.com via it's a Telio print they don't have it anymore i'm sorry i mean fabric.com isn't even a thing anymore i have a little bit of this left and i'm hoping i can get a wide bishopy sleeve shirt out of it and again i know i don't wear separates often but i don't think making another dress out of what i've got left would be a good idea this is absolutely glorious I love this so much. This was totally Julian's idea as well. I, sh I was going to make the wrap dress with the ruffles and Julian was like, oh, it's very Carolina Herrera-esque. It would look amazing as a shirt dress. And Julian, you were correct. I love it. This one's staying. <laughs> and again, fight me. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. No, I don't want to get beaten off. <laughs> I love this one. It's the Megan Nielsen Matilda dress out of a cotton poplin I got from Spotlight. This is staying. It's mm. absolutely glorious and fits me really nicely at the moment, which is good because for a while it was a little too big and it might go in my future proofing box if that happens again. Although mum loves this dress as well and has been trying to steal it from me a couple of times. So I think it might end up being one that we share, but I love this. I think it's gorgeous. It's staying. 
Okay, this is the Vogue 9345 in a shop car or plain fabric, but I did this one as part of my patterns are expensive, let's make them work hard for us video, which if I have enough cards will be up here, but definitely linked in the description down below. I made it to go with this dress, which is exactly as the one, same as the one I've got on underneath, except I've taken the Revere collar and the collar off, or the Revere and the collar off, and obviously I didn't put sleeves on. I have also made this one two inches longer in the skirt than the one underneath, so it could be layered like this. This is the one that I want to do with like a lot of my suitings mm -hmm. and plain fabrics, because I think it would be a better way around if I had these in like bright prints or my printed fabrics and then had a plain, well I have got a lot of plain suiting to wear over the top of it. I want to keep both of these, I love this. Again at one point these were quite a lot too big for me but at the moment they fit really nicely. You ran out of time. So I will start wearing them now because as I say they fit nicely and they feel comfortable which is important. I like feeling comfortable in my clothes and whilst the sleeves are giant they also aren't restrictive in any way which means plenty of room for activities. <laughs> so yeah both of these are staying. They are actually on my colour palette. I was worried that they won't be. I have already because there were five pieces from this collection. You've seen me fix my denim skirt which is exactly this skirt but with a waistband added on. I have got rid of my grey shirt that I made for the same fabric in the same style but it was just a shirt that came to here because it was grey and it didn't look great on me. And I've made a striped straight sleeve shirt which is gorgeous but I think is going to go as well because again no room for activities. Mm. I need to be able to do this at a frequent and daily basis. So uh, yeah both of these are staying but I don't think the other shirt that's still here will and the grey one's already gone. Skirt's one of the best things I made ever. It was definitely more fun doing this with a friend <laughs> by myself. I would have lost steam a long time ago. We all know I make multiples of a pattern when I like it. These are exactly the same dress. This one is in a crinkle viscose that I got from Stitch Fabrics and this one is in the mystery fabric that Rachel got for me from Walton's that made its way into my stash and then I completely blanked on where it came from. I wear both of these loads. I'm definitely keeping the navy one. What do we think about that? Out of the two, which one That's are you going to... you know? Brighter, mm -hmm. but I love this which one. one would you reach for over the other though? If you, if you had to pick one, which you kind of do. I love wearing this shirt so much that I would wear this one day and then come wear this the next day and be, feel happy about it. So there yeah, there's your answer. They're both staying. So this is the McCall 6891. I think I have that number right. And again, there is a sew along for this one. This is in Lady McElroy's Elephant and Chameleon fabric, which if you can find the chameleon, well done. I actually really like these colors on me. And I have this fabric on the Riccardi lawn. Now I bought enough to make the 9345, which you've just seen. I made the, make the shirt of that. I've bought two and a half meters of it with the big sleeves and I have decided I'm going to buy another meter of it so that I can put the skirt on and then have it as a layering piece to go under a pinafore that I'm going to make from my tan and navy wool suiting because that would be a really cool look mm -hmm. like that layered look we saw yeah. earlier and it will be something that will get worn because I will have the dress as well because the shirt just it's just not going to happen so I love this fabric I love this dress this is staying and I'm buying more of it. Reasonable. Don't tell you reasonable. Savannah 8577. This one is staying. It is glorious. And if you go to the Lady McElroy site, this is the first image that pops up when you when you head over there. It's me in this dress. Love it. Staying. Both of these are staying. They are both makes that I did this year. I've worn both of them. I love both of them. I'm so pleased with how this one has come out. Loads of you guys said not to add any more appliques to it. And I won't for a while. I may change my mind and do more in the future. But for now, this is perfect as is. This one is the Fabric Godmother Strawberry Print. Perfect colours for me. Both of these are staying. It's another 8577. It's in the Amaryllis print. It's absolutely glorious. This was a present from Alex and Hedge Hubby. Thank you very, very much. I love it. I have a shirt in this as well, which I do wear. I've given mum my 1.5 meter remnant that I bought myself because I couldn't get the dress that I wanted to try out of it. So she's gonna have a shirt. This is staying. It's gorgeous. I love it. This is another McCall's 6891. Again, so along out there for this. It's got flamingos on it. This is a Lady McElroy fabric that I got from Lamazzi with a voucher that Nancy gave me. It is 
absolutely glorious i love it and it's going to fit it's the same fit as the elephant and chameleon that you've just seen so it fits really well at the moment this one's staying we're nearly done this is another McCall 6891 in Cobra Corsage in the Chantilly background, which actually is very good cream ivory for me. This one is also staying. I love this dress. It's a 6696 shirt dress. I initially did it with long sleeves and the cuffs, and I took those off and made it sleeveless because it never got worn. I love how it looks now, but it's never been worn. Mm. It's got the black collar, which is what would frame my yeah. face. This one needs to go. It's glorious. The Siamese putty tats are fabulous, but I do have a coral based viscose with cats all over it. Turquoise cats, because of course. Not and anymore. It magically found its way into my bag. Oh, did it disappear? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, shocking. I need to obviously frisk Jojo before she leaves the island. But yeah, this one is going to go into the for sale pile, which I am sad about, but I have never worn it ever this is another super super special dress to me the fabric was a wonderful birthday present from the lovely Lynette who came to my very first retreat and provided all the sewing machines which was very kind of her it is celebration bouquet by lady McElroy it's a 6696 shirt dress with a five panel circle skirt on it I filmed a bunch of tutorials if you go to any of my mini tutorials for shirt dress making French seam pockets that's this dress it's grey it's grey with pink and I don't reach for this one and it's only because it doesn't make me look as good as other ones do plus this is too small for me now I could future proof it but the very lovely Lynette has very kindly also given me five meters of Lady McElroy's damselfly in their cream colorway which is perfect for me so I think what I want to do is remake this dress in that fabric so I have my Lynette dress but in a colour that gets worn because this one is beautiful but it's just not for me. I think that's sensible. Thank you so much for this fabric mm -hmm. Lynette and thank you for everybody that watches all of those videos but yeah this one does need to get sold. I'm sad. sad. We are down to the last me made and then there is one vintage dress. I mean I've got more vintage dresses but they're packed away because they really don't fit. This one did for a little while, but I don't think it does either now. This is my very first 8577 in the black Cobra Corsage cotton line from Lady McElroy. It was my first Lady McElroy fabric purchase. It is my gateway drug into the realm of pretty prints that they offer damn you yeah this one sentimental reasons and also i do wear this one frequently even though it is black i wear it with bright cardigans like my pink cardigan my green cardigan and my red cardigan so yeah this one's staying and then the last one is this epic shirtwaist dress that i got from america it did used to have sleeves on it but they were disintegrating under the arm, so I took them off and bound the edges. I'm glad that I did. It's much better for it. I think you can see it's an eyelet dress, and the skirt has so much fabric in it. Now, I can't get this on at the moment. <laughs> it doesn't fit, which is really, really unfortunate, because for a while it did fit, and I didn't wear it, which I'm regretting. I know it's black, but I think if I wore a bright coloured slip under it, and I did buy some silks earlier this year to make some bright coloured slips, I think that with a chunky gold chain and a bright cardigan would make that work for me. I also don't have many of the vintage pieces that I bought left. And this is one of the ones that I've kept because it is just so glorious. Yeah, I'm not going to get rid of this one. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I love it, even though it is black. It's staying. <laughs> and that was the last one. We are done. I got rid of two and I future proofed one. <laughs> But we all knew the button-up shirt dress category was going to be a tough one to get me to part ways with things. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm clinging onto this one now, even though I can't actually fit it on my body. <laughs> I'm like, look, it fits on a scuff. <laughs> I, I think I've done well. Yeah. I think I've done all right. Now, admittedly, most of these have gone into my future proofing box rather than to be sold or donated box, but it's still, it's given me a lot more room in the wardrobe, which is awesome because as we know, I have lots of fabric that's gonna be turned into gorgeous dresses. So yeah, I still have my knit dresses to do of which I do have two drawfuls and six, no, eight hanging up in the cupboard, but they're really warm making and I think they would be better viewed on rather than just held up to myself because I don't have photos of myself in all of them. So I'm going to do that for another day. 
but I do feel very, very good about the clear out that I have done so far. Now all I need to do is go through and organize everything back into color order because at the moment it's driving me nuts. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section down below what you think of my choices and the ones that I've got rid of and the ones that I have future-proofed and the ones that I have kept. Are there any choices that you would have made differently? I would be very interested to hear your thoughts. So if you've enjoyed this video, you might want to check out this closet clear out here.